I got into playing poker in college and really liked it, but never considered I could make a career out of it until Jeff Yass came and gave a talk at Harvard. Jeff explained that, yes, you can actually use gaming skills for your career and for something to do on a day-to-day -day basis, which was exciting at the time. I thought it was really cool. We can pretty much guarantee you that we will give you the best education. You will be taught all that we know in a very professional manner by expert teachers, and uh, you're going to be mentored. And I like to think that there's no other place where you can get as much mentorship as you can at Susquehanna. So I, I found out about SAG at a career fair at uh, MIT. I barely knew what, a, what an option is, which is what we do all the time here, trading. <laughs> really what, what drew me to the job were the many similarities between what quantitative researchers do at uh, SIG and what I did in academia that I very much enjoyed. I think that the main thing that everybody has in common is a sense of competitiveness and interest in, in gaming and strategy in general. I would say you're, you're playing a game as a career. When COVID hit, it became increasingly clear that we would have to all work from home. And when that point came, the transition with all of the technology was pretty seamless. We didn't think it was a possibility at first, and we were under the impression that there's no way you could actually trade from home. But the technology team threw everything together in a couple of days. And then before I knew it, I had a bunch of monitors in the back of my car and a new computer and set everything up at home. And then the next day, I was making trades from my living room. We had to go in a couple of weeks from, you know, supporting the ad hoc usage at home to supporting a remote access infrastructure that could handle the whole firm on all at once. I think we did over a thousand setups, providing them with computers for home, providing them with monitors, and then being available online round the clock as they called in saying, I'm trying to get myself set up. And so SIG definitely didn't skip a beat. One of the biggest adaptations was that markets began to move in ways that nobody had really anticipated. And as the new environment came around, we essentially had to throw out a lot of uh, the old models and assumptions that were no longer relevant for this completely new environment. And so it became an entirely new puzzle to solve. I really felt like I had to develop a new set of skills and subject matter knowledge. I've never covered healthcare or biotech or anything like that. So in terms of trading, it's been super exciting. When I first learned that it was going to be a virtual internship, I definitely had some concerns how I was going to meet people and just connect with the other interns and employees. But there were a lot of group projects and just group activities that made it a lot easier. I think we reinforce the message that we are a flexible organization. We can turn on a dime and do what needs to be done. We have the technical talent here to solve the problems that need to be solved. You know, that reinforcement gives people kind of that strength to say we can accomplish this. It's very satisfying to me that uh, we've been able to employ so many people, give them not just an opportunity to make a lot of money, but to be with the smartest people in the world and to have a lot of fun and make a lot of friends and create a culture of reason.